Hi, Mrs Smith here. I'm um, just giving you a wee bit of a video here today to explain how you could approach a problem, a word problem, using the rucksack strategy. So here is rucksack explained all the way down at the side here. We have R U C S A C. So that spells out the word rucksack. So that is going to be used today to explain it's a way of approaching a word problem. R is read. Read the question and underline the important bits. Think about it. So understand. Think about it and write the number sentence that you will need. Choose. Choose how you will work it out. Solve. Solve the problem. Work it out. Answer. Have you answered the question fully? Check. Is it likely? Check it and double underline your final answer. So there are three different options available to you today. Mild is to look at solving one step problems, spicy, two step problems, and hot is multi step word problems. I'm gonna guide you through an example of each of these showing you how I use the rucksack method to approach them. So here is our first problem, and this is the mild option. It's a one-step problem. So using rucksack, read the question and underline the important bits. A grocer has 60 kilograms of potatoes. In one day, he sells 50% of the potatoes. What mass of potatoes does he sell? So the important part is that there's 60 kilograms of potatoes. So I'm going to underline that bit. He sells 50%, so sells 50%. What mass of potatoes? So mass, what mass is what we're being asked of, does he sell? So we have to work out, so now we have to use their understand bit, think about it and write the number sentence you will need. So what are we actually being asked? 60 kilograms, he sells 50%. What mass, so mass, you have to understand that that means the weight of the potatoes has he sold. So what we've been asked is 50% of 60 kilograms. Now you're going to choose how to work this out. I'm going to, I know that 50% is half, so I'm going to work out half of 60 kilograms. I'm going to divide that by two. So I've chosen a way to do it. I'm actually going to do it now. 60 divided by two is 30. Kilograms. Now, because it's what math, you have to make sure you use kilograms to have your answer to show that that is the answer in kilograms. So, have you answered the question fully? Well, what mass of potatoes does he sell? It's a word problem, so you should really answer as a word. He sells 30 kilograms of potatoes. Is it likely? Check it and double underline your final answer. Yeah, that seems likely. It's mass of potatoes you sell. It's half of that amount. 30, that seems like a reasonable answer. Double underline your final answer. And that is your mild. Here is a spicy problem. That's, it's got two steps to this problem. So read the question. A farmer harvests 850 kilograms of parsnips, 30% go to the local market, 50% go to a local supermarket. What mass of parsnips are left? So this is two steps here. We need to understand what we're being asked. 850 kilograms, 30% to local market, 50% to local supermarket. What mass is left? That's a really bit what mass is left. So what do we know? Think about it and write it down. We have 850 kilograms. We're going to have to work out how many went to the local market. So we're going to have to work out 
of 850 kilograms. We're also going to work out how many go to the local supermarket. And 50% of 850 kilograms. So the first step to this problem is working out how many are sent to the different places of, of the 850 kilograms. So to work out, this is our understanding, choose how we're going to work it out. So 30%, a good way of working that out would be to work out perhaps 3 tenths. Because 30% is the same as 30 over 100, which can be simplified to 3 tenths. So 3 tenths of 850 kilograms. 1 tenth of 850 kilograms would equal 85 kilograms. Multiply that by 3. So 80, 160, 240 and the 15, 255. And if you know one tenth, you can also work out five tenths. You can do that, or you could just half it, whichever way you would like to do it. Actually, I'm just going to half, half of 850 kilograms equals 425 kilograms. So sent to the local market was 255 kilograms and sent to the supermarket with the 50% was 425 kilograms. So altogether, 400 and 200, that's 650, 70, 670, and the two fives, 680 kilograms. So that is the first step to that word problem. We've worked out how many were sent, but the question is, what mass of parsnips are left? So you now have to do 850 kilograms, take away the 680 kilograms. 800 take away 600 is 200. 250 take away the 50, 200 and another 30, 170 kilograms. Have you answered the question fully? Well, there's lots of working out here, so you have to make sure your answer is clear. So you can say 170 kilograms of parsnips are left. Is it likely? Check it and double underline your final answer. Well, 30% have gone to the local market, 50%, well, 50 and 30, that is 80%, so there's only 20% left. So this could actually be a check as well. 20% of this would be double your one tenth. So 85 and 85, that makes 170. So I've just very quickly done a double check of working that out in a different way to make sure that works. Double underline your final answer and that's your check done. And that's your spicy problem. Now for a hot multi-step board problem. A grocer has 160 kilograms of onions. That's important information, 160 kilograms. 50% of the onions are sold in two kilogram bags. So 50% are in two kilogram bags. The rest are sold loose. And 20% of those loose onions and 12 bags are left at the end of the day. What percentage, so we've been asked for a percentage answer at the end, of onions were sold that day? So we're actually being told that this is actually very important as well. The information here 
20% of the loose onions and 12 bags of onions are left at the end of the day and we have to say how many were sold. So there's lots to do in this question. So let's think about what we know and what we're going to have to do. There are 160 kilograms of onions. 50% of these are in two kilogram bags. So let's work out how many of these onions are in the bag. So 50% of 160 kilograms, that's going to equal 80 kilograms because 50% is a half. So 80 kilograms of the onions are in these two kilogram bags. I th it's going to be useful to know how many bags there are because it tells us 12 bags are left. So 80 kilograms, if each bag is 2 kilograms, I'm going to do 80 divided by 2 to work out how many bags there are. So it would be 40 bags. Okay, so we've worked out this part of the question. The next bit, 20% of the, of the loose onions and 12 bags of onions are left so yeah the rest of them are loose so half were in bags 80 kilograms are in bags and 80 kilograms are loose so 20 percent of the loose onions so the amount in of loose onions is 80 kilograms and we need to work out 20 percent of that So here you need to work out what you want to do to work out 20%. There are different ways of working that out. 20% is two tenths, so you could work out one tenth and double it. Or it's the same as one fifth, so you could find out one fifth. I think finding a tenth and doubling it is easy. 80 divided by 10 is 8 and doubling it is 16. So 20% is 16 kilograms. So 16 kilograms of the onions are going to be loose. 12 bags of onions are left as well. So 12 bags well that's going to equal 24 kilograms. So if you remember back here each bag has 2 kilograms. So these two answers here my 16 kilograms and my 24 kilograms these two step things answers here are what was left there are 20 percent of the loose onions and are 12 bags so i'm going to add those together so 16 kilograms add 24 kilograms so i'm jumping backwards and forwards a little bit between these three parts because we're understanding what we need we're choosing how to work it out and we're solving it each step of the way. So at the moment, I've understood this bit, I've worked it out, I've worked this bit out, I've solved it. I'm going back up here thinking about what I need to know. So at this point, I'm thinking I need to know how many are left at the end of the day. 16 at 24 will be 40 kilograms. So I've worked out how many are left. But now it's what percentage of onions were sold? So there are another a couple of things we need to do here. So if 40 kilograms were left, to work out how many were sold, we need to take that away from the total that we started with. So 160 take away the 40, that's going to equal 120 kilograms. So if it asked for what mass of onions were sold, this would be our answer. However, it's asking what percentage. So we now need to say what this is as a percentage. 120 out of the 160. So I'm going to simplify this fraction. And divide the top and bottom by 10. 120 divided by 10 is 12. 160 divided by 10 is 16. 
and then I'm going to divide my top and bottom by four and it becomes three quarters and now you should know that one quarter is the same as 25 percent so three quarters as a percentage equals 75 percent have you answered the question fully so write your answer out 75 percent of onions were sold that day. Is it likely? Check it and double underline your final answer. 160 kilograms, 50% in bags, that's half of them. Only 12 bags were sold, so that's not a lot of bags out of what was a total of 40, it's a small amount, 20% of the loose onions were left. So yes, it seems likely that 75% of the onions were sold and you double underline your answer and there you go. That's a multi-step problem using percentages. So as you can see, Solving word problems can be a little bit messy, which is why I've chosen to do this video just using pen and paper. You write things down, you might score things out, you might try th things in a different way. Your working is allowed to be like that as long as you make sure that your end answer to a word problem is very clear at the end. Good luck with it all and as always if you've got any questions please do just ask one of us.